Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to Black Hat 2023 in Las Vegas, Mandalay Bay. Thrilled to be here at the Swim Lane booth. I am Mitch Ratner from Data Miner. I'm the director of Business Development and Technology Alliances. And I'm joined here today by Mike Jones, our Senior Director of Product Management. Very pleased to be here in the Swim Lane booth. Thank you for uh, the invitation to present. So we'll talk about a little bit about who and what is Data Miner and our integration into Swim Lane and how one plus one equals three. So Data Miner is an AI-based real-time alerting system. We have over 800,000 sources from which we cull uh, information about threats, exploits, both physical and cyber. And on the physical side, you may wonder, what's a physical alert and what does that have to do with cyber? Well, physical alerts, uh, or cyber alerts, can take down uh, physical infrastructure. Colonial Pipeline is a classic example of that, right? Ransomware took down Colonial Pipeline. A lot of people couldn't get gas. And the reverse is true as well, where you have cyber threats taking down, uh, uh, physical threats taking down cyber, um, uh, cyber related assets. You have threats against buildings that contain assets. You have threats against your employees that have your data assets. So you need to take uh, advantage of our alerting system to alert on both physical and the cyber side of the house. So we've been around since 2009 and we have been doing AI for the last 15 years. We have a few thousand uh, large language models in play as we speak and we've raised over a billion in revenue, uh, a re billion in uh, investment and we've invested over half of that in R&D. We have 150 PhD scientists in the background along with our uh, AI engine that again are scanning the internet, scanning the surface web, scanning the deep dark web, and all the uh, cyber sites, gray noise, URL scan, uh, etc. for those signals of emerging threats. We are in over 650 newsrooms. We have uh, over 50% of the Fortune 100 using us today, and we're making great inroads uh, working with the likes of Swimlane to action our alerts. So again, over 800,000 sources of information from where we cull that, that data. And this, I will not read through this eye chart, but this, uh, in, in terms of how does a customer configure what they want to see, and they don't want to get overwhelmed with alerts, they get into our tool and they configure from these topics what they want to be alerted on. Uh, in particular, uh, the cybersecurity, so for data leaks, data breaches, uh, in the deep dog web, we can tell you if you've been, uh, your data's been exfiltrated, if you've been compromised, your credentials have been compromised, extremely important. But it's just an alert. What do you do with an alert? That's where the integration with Swimlane equals the one plus one equals three type of equation. You get our alert, it gets enriched by Swimlane, and then Swimlane kicks off the uh, remediation workflow. And to speak about that end-to-end -end process, which I call a solution, I'd like to introduce to you Mike Jones, Senior Director of Product Management. Mike? Great, thank you, Mitch. Very excited to be here, thank you. Oh, okay, he's going to take care of me. Thank you, sir. All right, yeah, a real pleasure to be here. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming out. Uh, and I'm really excited to be here in the Swim Lane booth. They are such an excellent partner. and. Uh, yeah, it's an honor to be here. So today I'm going to talk to you about how we are, as Mitch said, we can have one plus one equal three when you bring our two solutions together. And so we take our world-class AI real-time alerting and we bring that into the swim lane platform and really bring help bring it to life. So uh, as you can see, there's lots of other signals that come in. We're a very good citizen on their platform. So you know you can have our alerts coming in and help trigger playbooks, but you can also have other events that are coming in from your firewalls or cloud platforms or endpoints that can also track your uh, playbooks. And we can also act as a source of enrichment, providing additional information about all the different IOCs that might be part of your particular workflow. Uh, and then of course, then you can have playbooks that trigger to uh, you know, alert people to do automated things or even have a human in the loop to make a decision once you gather more information. Uh, so let me go through a couple scenarios of how you could actually be using this in real in real life. 
So the first one is a supply chain partner of yours. So with Data Miner, you can configure, as Mitch was saying, our alerts. And so you could say, hey, I want to find out alerts about my company, but I also want to find out alerts about all my supply chain partners, because if they have some kind of problem, it may end up, end up impacting my business. So I want to know about that. And then maybe I also want to um, monitor all of my tech stacks, because, or tech stacks, so you can find out, you know, are any of your key technologies having vulnerabilities or ransomware attacks or what have you. So in this case, in this scenario, one of your supply chain partners got a ransomware attack and maybe they're not really necessarily interested in telling you right away that they're dealing with that uh, problem. But you know, with our platform, we provide you real-time AI learning if we see that information in any deep and dark web uh, site or like maybe in a Telegram channel, we can tell you about it. And we can share that information with a lot of detail and it goes into this Windlight platform. And we can set up a really cool playbook that could do things like, you know, announce to your IT team through PagerDuty, so whoever on call, they can be aware of, hey, my supply chain partner may have some kind of uh, ransomware, and here's what it is. We should have put shields up and be you know, make sure we're ready for something like that to hopefully it won't impact us. And then you also probably want to let your CISO know and maybe your supply chain partnership team know because they want to be able to reach out to your partner and say, hey guys, we heard about your ransomware attack. We want to um, you know, help you and you know, we, we don't want to have our operations impacted because you're impacted. So you know, some good coordination there between the two companies. And then you can also create an IT case in like ServiceNow and that way you have like a memorial of when something happened and you can track it and you know, activate whatever work, other workflows you need to have between teams. So, this one example of how we can help trigger an alert, or alerts trigger an action inside of Swimlane. On to the next scenario. So in this case, uh, we're going to do one on vulnerability prioritization. We're all dealing with vulnerabilities every single day, right? Uh, <laughs> no software is perfect. There's always some kind of new vulnerability out there every single day, like 70 new CVEs per day or something like that. It's crazy. Um, and so in this case, uh, we, we've sent out some type of alert around a new trending vulnerability that we've discovered on one of your internet facing servers. This is a critical vulnerability, it could be like a CVSS 9 or higher type uh, vulnerability. Maybe you're in between your scans of when your server's being scanned and we found something that could be really bad for your company. So in this case, we can trigger a playbook that would first run a digital scan with Tenable. Maybe that's your partner to use to do vulnerability scanning. They can do that. Then they can notify IT, maybe through Slack. And we can also tee up and be ready to patch that server and get rid of that vulnerability. But of course, you probably want to have a human in the loop to like approve it and maybe schedule it before it happens. But that's, that would be my recommendation. And then you can close the incident inside of Swimlane. All right. Now, you know, Mitch talked about how Data Miner provides real-time alerting also about physical security threats that could have an impact in the cyber world. In this case, we're talking about a hurricane and maybe some flash flooding that might be happening nearby one of your data centers, uh, maybe where you have your backup tapes or something. And so we want to give you a real-time alert. Hey, there's something you know coming your way. And first, we want to let the employees know, maybe through Microsoft Teams, and let them be aware that there's a threat around the campus where they're working. But also, maybe you want to uh, trigger an emergency backup of data that might be in that data center and make sure it's off-site you know, as quickly as possible. So maybe you trigger a critical backup uh, at the same time with a company like Beam that does uh, online backup. And there you go. Now we've saved the day. All right, so there's just a couple examples of how our two companies can come together and really make the world a better place and help solve your issues. And, you know, um, yeah, one plus one equals three. Here we are. Thank you, everybody. If you want to learn more, you can check out our cool QR code.